All right, I have no idea what's about to happen because our next <laughs> guest is an animal expert who's going to show us different animals from around the world. Now, there are some animals that I love and some that I love a little less. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, this is going to be good. From Washington, D.C., please welcome David Mizajewski. Good to see you. Hi, hey. So, you guys love animals, right? Yes. All right, that's, yes. What, that's what I like to hear. I work for the National Wildlife Federation, mm -hmm. and we're all about protecting wildlife around the world. So, I brought some really amazing wildlife ambassadors okay. that you guys can meet. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait. All right. So, all right. why don't we bring out our first animal? I guarantee you've probably never seen this animal before. Okay. okay. It is called a binturong. Ooh. And let's see, we're going to. So Hi. Let's see so if we cute. can get her over here and chewing on a banana now. We're not going to touch her because she's got sharp claws and sharp fangs. Okay. That is okay with Let's me. See. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if she'll eat a banana. She's not going to eat the banana. What's her name? Her name is Sabah. Now, this is an animal that you've probably never seen or heard of because they live in Southeast Asia in the jungles. Uh -huh. They're actually declining in the wild. Ooh. And of course, she wants to get up on my shoulder here. So. Let's hey. see if we can give her. She's so cute. Right here. Yes. Let's show everybody okay. what she looks like right, on the front there. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is an animal <laughs> that lives in the jungles. And see this big, that big fat tail there? Yes. Uh -huh. They actually use that as a fifth limb. They can oh. actually hold on to branches with it. All right, we're probably going to send her back before she. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah I'll give you that. Wow, it was we've nice got to meet We've got a bunch more cool animals wow. out there. That was so, great. I like that one. Fins are on. They're threatened in the wild, they're declining, so again, they, they need our help. All right, okay. next one you guys are gonna love too. <gasps> this, oh, we're gonna be kind of quiet. She's just a little baby here. Okay. This is a serval. This is a wild oh. cat that's native to Africa. Now, what, what do, do servals eat? eat? Yeah, so, so servals are pretty cool because they have super long legs, oh. and Sabi's just getting, in, getting those really long legs because they live on the African grasslands. And so they can actually jump over six feet in the air and catch birds right out of the sky. See, we from oh. Africa, that's why she likes us. <laughs> that's that's <so> true. <laughs> They also eat rodents <laughs> like most other cats do. <laughs> Thank you, Serval Kitten. Let's bring out our next oh. animal now. You might be a little bit spooked six feet by the, the next air. animal that we you have here. You're doing good. How you holding up? I'm, you know. Uh, yeah, just, you guys actually, I'm, I'm proud of you. I didn't watch know this next one. I, I didn't know how you were going to react to this next animal. Because they smell, hold? whoa, because yeah. they smell fear. Whoa. Grab the other, uh, the back end. I'll hold the head end. OK. All right. Do you know what this is? Sure. Yes. It's a snake. That, that's a killer right there. <laughs> well, OK, I'm glad, Twitch, I'm glad you said that. You said that it's a killer, It right? sure is. Most snakes are 100% harmless to people. It's, it's a boa constrictor. Right, if you were a bird or a mammal living in the jungles I in Central America or South America, uh -huh. yes, this is an animal that could be dangerous to you. What's her name? So this is Bonita. Bonita. Yeah. Bonita. And she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Snakes need our love. It's not just the cute and cuddly and the furry animals that deserve protection. Does she lay eggs? Um, no, they actually give live birth. A lot of, most reptiles lay eggs. It's a really great question. Uh -huh. um, this group of snakes actually give live birth to little babies. You want to hold it? Come yeah. on, you can do We're it. We're not going to put uh, it around your neck. Okay, I right. just want you to feel the strength. Because it constricts, so it's like, exactly. I don't want, okay, all right. I want you to feel the, the strength the the uh, and the weight. <laughs> don't they just smell fear? On. They feel fear, you don't they? No, they can't. They're actually pulling scent particles out of the air with mm. that tongue. That's why snakes flick their tongue. Mm. It's not because they're trying to sting you or something mm. like that. It kind of has a grip on my arm, <laughs> so it's making right. me a little nervous. I, I'm going to help you with that. All right. I'm going to help you, you with take, that. You want to take? I got her. There you I go. Got her. There. All right. Oh, see, it's not letting go. Look, look. You that, couldn't, you couldn't not, put her around someone's neck? Why I, hold, wouldn't, I wouldn't why, do that. Because okay. it's you know, holding on to my arm. Right, I need my second, my other hand. It's holding on to my arm. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to send her back now. Yeah, yeah. All right, and why don't you guys step over here because our last animal. Why you push me to hold it? Our last animal is going to be over here on the grass. You the host. Yes. Let's see. All right, guys, come on over here with me. He done brought now, you know what there. this is. Look, that's a oh zebra. I'm going to give you each one carrot. OK. Oh, you got this. Hi, right, zebra. Just hold the tip of it. Like you know, this. I always wanted to know, why do they have stripes? All right, so zebras have stripes because it actually, new research has shown that it actually helps, Don't play um, with me. helps protect them Don't from play parasitic me. flies. Oh. It confuses the flies. <laughs> hold up here, I got you. Yeah, there you go. You, Don't play with me, Let me, let me, let me, let me we go. walk them this way a little it's bit. It's just like Lion King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Um, this is Zimba, Zimba the zebra. Pretty Hi, easy to Zimba. remember. Zimba now, zebra. now notice too, the color of his Zimba. stripes here are brown. When they're when they're young and they're born, uh -huh. their stripes are brown, and the, these stripes are kind of like fingerprints. So it's every animal has a unique set. So this thing. National Wildlife Federation, we really hope everybody out there joins our cause. 
and gets involved protecting wildlife. We focus Columbus on America's State. wildlife, but you know, it's up to everybody out there to get involved if we're gonna save these beautiful creatures. Man, like, thank okay, you so much, enough. man. You're welcome. Look, David's book, Attracting Birds, Butterflies, and Other Backyard mm -hmm. Wildlife is available now. We'll be right back.